is how to set up your major design portfolio using InDesign as your template. Now it's really important that the first things you do when creating your portfolio template are making sure that the foundations are set right. And to do that, the first thing we want to do is actually create our new document. So we're going to go File, New, Document. And in this window here, there's a lot of information, okay? The main ones that we want to look at is the size. And the size that we want to work on is A3, which is standard for the portfolio requirements. The other one is we want to use a layout, a landscape actual layout for the portfolio. And the reason for this is uh, that you can create you can add a lot of template uh, content to your template and if it's in landscape view we can then break that up into two A4 pages in a sense worth of content and so it just allows you a little bit more freedom in your design and how much information you want to put in. The other thing we need to do is there's this checkbox called facing pages and what we're doing is well I'll demonstrate it to start with if I press OK here now We've created a new document, a new A3 document, and over here in the pages palette, which I've just grabbed there, is our first page. And in, in there as well is also masters. So that's basically our template for any future pages that we produce. And within that, we've actually got two pages. So you can see that that actually looks like a little booklet. And when we actually create this to deliver to the markers, we don't want it to be in a booklet form like they're reading a novel. We just want to have one page after another. So there's two ways you can change that. If you've already created the document and you've noticed that there's facing pages, you can click on the one you don't want and drag it to the bin. And you press master a applied to one page, delete anyway, yeah. Okay, so it hasn't asked you anything particular. So now we have one master page. And it still is not right. See this line here? This is the bind of that booklet. So that's scrap. let's scrap this. Let's close this off. We don't want to save it, no. And we want to create that document again. So if we do things right the first time, it will make things a lot easier. So if we go A3, landscape and uncheck facing pages, or, and press OK, what we're going to come back with is now we've got one page, one master and one page with no bind. And that's really what we want to have. The other things inside that, let's go back into that new document settings. So we can go file, document setup, and it brings back a lot of that, that content information. So yeah, what have we seen? Facing pages, we can turn it on and off there, just like that. If we change that, it reappears. If we go back into document setup, we can turn it off. So that's the other way to do it.